Hi chums. Okay, this is Shireen's experiment with the mixture of vermiculite and perlite. Now, if I can just, I'm going to jump about a bit here because there's a difference in the growth rate. This one here, the first one is the mixture of 50-50 um, vermiculite and perlite. The second to the next row here is one third of each. Um, one third vermiculite, one third perlite, and one third compost. And at the back here, with fifty percent compost and twenty-five percent perlite and twenty-five percent vermiculite. Now, if you just look at the ones at the front, they're quite small. That's the fifty-fifty mix of perlite and vermiculite, but no nutrients. The second ones in the middle are slightly taller, and those are the ones with, <coughs> excuse me, one third vermiculite. And the ones at the back are taller again, and those are the ones with 50% compost, 25% vermiculite, and 25% perlite. Now, I'm going to go over here now, I'm trying to get this set to show you this, and I'm going to take one of each out to see how the roots compare. So, let me jump over there. Right. So where's, there's the best, that's the best one of the 50-50s, um, that's, that's the best one of the one third, one third, one third, and That's that's probably the healthiest of the 50%. So I'll just take this out of the way. Right, I just want to see where I am now. If you just bear with me. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. Right, we'll start with the 50-50. I want to just, I'm still trying to get my position here. This is just sitting on the edge of a path. Of a path. I'm scared. Of, oh, that'll be okay. Right. Okay, so this is the 50-50, and as you can see, the roots, that is quite, that's quite, that's quite, quite good actually. If you look at that, I'm well impressed with that. That's just vermiculite and perlite. Right, the next one is one third of each. Oh, it's got much, much more roots. This is not going to be as easily untangled as the other one. So you can see that that's the that's one third vermiculite, one third perlite, and one third compost, and that's the fifty percent of each beside it. And the last one here, then, this is the fifty percent compost. Ah, and that's definitely got more roots again. I can't even get the roots broken up on this one. I'm afraid these ones are going to get murdered. Because it's too late now for the beans anyway, you know. So they've given them, they've given their, their their lives for science, but look, I can't even untangle those roots because they're they're so, they're so dense. So obviously, fifty percent compost and then twenty five percent perlite and twenty five percent vermiculite. Now I've noticed something here. This one is wetter than this one here, and when I was doing some lettuces recently. Um, I came across a tray that had nothing but vermiculite in them and they had held the water very well but they'd also become, it started to rot at the bottom so it looks like perlite holds water very well but doesn't drain as well as vermiculite vermiculite seems to hold water but allows drainage as well so I think the best compromise is the 50% of compost with 25% each of vermiculite and perlite. But if I were to go for one particular type, I imagine vermiculite seems to be slightly better in terms of drainage. Um, someone made a point that we could actually work against ourselves doing this because we'd end up with a very wet mix because the perlite held the water so well we wouldn't get the drainage we want. <clears throat> and that seems to be the way it is. So it would be vermiculite or 
50-50 vermiculite and compost um, and then mix that in with your 50-50 your, your vermiculite perlite with your compost and uh, that will give you the best of both worlds. Okay, Shireen, that's the best I can do for you. So very briefly, there's your 50-50 of vermiculite and perlite. There's your um, third of each, one third vermiculite, one third perlite, one third compost. And there's, that's so dense I can't unravel it. That's 50% compost, 25% perlite, and 25% vermiculite. All right. All the best now. Bye, chums. I have just to clean my hand before I touch the camera. Right, where are we at? How do you turn this thing off? Um, okay, bye, chums.